In this video, we will look at how can we use Excel to generate the plot to test the assumption 4 imposed on the linear regression model. Uh, the assumption 4 states like this, the residual, the value of residual are independent. So usually if you have time series data, you, this assumption normally will be violated. Uh, sometimes in the panel data, it also uh, exists. So we do definitely to test if this assumption 5 still holds for my regression model. So in order to test the assumption 5, look at 3.5. We need to generate the residual versus the order of the observation scatter plot. So this plot is not come out naturally with the regression output. So we need to use the regression output to generate this plot. So now let's look at our Excel output again. So as we, if you still remember where we find the value to create a residual plot, so that's here, residual output. So we're using predicted y versus residual. We create the residual plot. So in this uh, example, we're using the residual versus the order of the observation. So first, you're going to be find the residual here. However, where is the order of observation? So look at this four column again. The first column is called observation. And then we look at the numbers, of, uh, the observations values. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So actually, the first column from the residual output is the order of observation. So which means we just need to select this, the observation column and residual column to create the scatter plot. However, if you still remember, what we're going to do is, in the class, we will use the uh, this line to connect to each uh, observation in order to identify if we can see one or a few big U shape. So first, select the observation and the observation column and find the control on your keyboard, push control on your keyboard. At the same time, select another column for the residual. So after you select both columns, it will go to the top to find the insert tab and then find that there is the area called chart. And we will use the scatter plot again. However, we don't use the non regular scatter plot. We're using the scatter plot with the with the straight line to connect each dot. So then we choose the second one here, the one under the one we used before. So now this is my residual versus order of the observation plot. So the vertical axis is my residual. The horizontal axis is the order of observation. So for the assumption five, if assumption five is violated. If assumption 5 is violated, we're going to see the big U shape, one or a few big U shape in my data set, if assumption 5 is violated. So if we go back to look at our example, actually, we do see a big U shape in my examples. So that indicate the uh, indicate that assumption 5 might be violated. So this is the last assumption for the regression, linear regression models.